Families are still recovering from uh, multiple storms that have wreaked havoc really across Metro Detroit this summer. Thousands still without power from last week's storms from flooded homes to freeways. So many asking why does this keep happening? Joining me now on 7 Up Front is MDOT Director Paul Adjma. Uh, Director Adjma, thank you for being there tonight. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for having me. Let's start with the pumps that lost power in June on I-94. We've showed the images of cars and trucks stranded on the freeway. Can you explain for our viewers why there aren't generators for nearby pumps when power does go out to the system? Well, in, in the past, we've been able to, to um, do with what we have. Uh, where I think in 2014, we had a, a major storm we were able to uh, take a temporary generator and go from one pump station to the other. But lately, what we've been seeing is that the, the frequency and the severity of the storm is way too much than uh, the, the outlet pipes can handle. But the, the June 25th storm was a 500 year storm. We had over seven, eight inches of rainfall within a 24 hour period in the Metro uh, Detroit area. So with that, we also had power failure. I always use the, the, the simple explanation that it's like having a sump pump in your basement. It's supposed to pump out water, but if you don't have power to that sump pump, it's not gonna work. Your basement is gonna flood. Right. Would and in this case, that was what happened. We did not have a power to about 28 pump stations uh, that, that period uh, of that 24 hour period. So we had a lot of water back up and even the ones that were working, the outlet pipes are not big enough to pump that water out uh, at, at once. So the, the flooding issue really brought this to, to light that we need to invest in, uh, in generators at each of these 140 pump stations that we have in the Metro Detroit area. So that would we, certainly- we that would hard to, to uh, get the funding for that. Right, that would certainly help, but you're saying it wouldn't, the generators, the addition of generators, but it wouldn't solve all of the problems that the system faces uh, because of the age of the system, is that right? That is correct. The, the, the generators are one piece of the puzzle, which is in, in the event of another power outage, the generators will just kick in and, and the pump station will, will, will be working. But that's a short term uh, view of that. But the long term will be to look at the outlet pipes. Uh, right now, they, they will probably have to oversize them for the current uh, storm system that we've been having so that we can pump the water out quicker. So that's another piece of it. Um, looking at uh, putting detention pump, uh, ponds in, in some of these critical areas is also another piece of it. So, there's a, a, a short, short term and a long term uh, range of what we need to do to, uh, to solve this problem. Now, under the infrastructure bill that cleared the Senate, Michigan will get at least $8 billion to fix roads and bridges. Is this enough to solve some of these many issues we face specifically when it comes to flooding? Or is that something that's uh, not really part of this? Well, it, it's not really part of it but again every additional money we get is welcome um, we are going to be making some improvements in some of our pump stations as part of the the 50 million dollar that we are asking uh, the federal uh, highway administration for but uh, don't forget that the 7.2 billion 8 billion dollars is not just in that it's going we still have to share with with uh, counties and, and cities and it, it's, it has to go through the House first, obviously, once the, the president signs it. Then we have to walk through the, the, the formula on who gets how much of, of, of that money. So I think we're still um, a, a few months away from, from where we can uh, honestly say who gets what. Well, hopefully uh, that will happen. Some of that funding will come so you can begin to address some of these many problems. Director Adjwa, we have to leave it there tonight. Thank you for your time. I'd like to have you come back again and uh, discuss further some of the, uh, the wish lists and the issues and challenges that you have uh, at MDOT going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for having me. Have a good night. You too. Thank you.